Assuming we clear out the lines, the most hypnotizing star I perceive is the star that could stun in our sky. It is this one, Scare Juice or Scare Crush. It's a red, exceptionally tremendous star. Moreover, on the unclear chance that you put it where the sun is, it would loosen up to the circle of Jupiter. It's tremendous, totally capricious, and going to detonate. It's not generally so clear as it seems in the universe. These Goliath occasions, like the generally broadly dreaded massive starbursts, could shake all that we see. Furthermore, notwithstanding, do whatever it takes not to see its center. Betelgeuse has been viewed as a sign, a red, incredibly Goliath star that is regularly more critical than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts figure it could go cosmic explosion, which has made individuals scared about what will happen straight away. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star, raising the topic of when Betelgeuse will transform into a truly supernova and what titanic effect it will have on the planet. We should figure out the star in the eminent body Orion, which sparkles so splendidly that even people from quite a while in the past have seen it. The great star, Betelgeuse, is arranged on the eastern shoulder of the star, grouping Orion. It is the second biggest star in the star gathering, and its name comes from this component, the beast's shoulder. It is possibly one of the most splendid stars in the night sky. On top of being very splendid, the star is additionally an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some huge involvement in Betelgeuse for a surprisingly long time. A Greek spectator named TMY likewise centered around it around that time. The essential thing individuals noticed about stars was their variety, and TMY said that it was a toadstool-shaded orange. In modern times, experts have been focusing on the star more enthusiastically, and presently, they have a splendid idea of what makes it so uniquely brilliant. One of these characteristics is that the star changes brightness an extraordinary amount, with an unmistakable extent of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, which implies that its brightness changes over time. As of late, experts have discovered some new data about the star. In 2019, experts first observed that Betelgeuse was acting unpredictably. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse didn't totally stop shining, it wasn't the same. It had become impressively less bright, dimming to a level of 1.6. Experts immediately began to investigate why they were seeing the 10th brightest star behave in this strange way. Scientists needed to provide an explanation based on their research, which revealed unusual signs from the star. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a well-known researcher, shared this shockingly dangerous explanation. As a recognized professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology, his perspective should not be dismissed. He also hosts a science show, writes popular science books, and is the Royal Society's Professor for Public Engagement in Science. Brian Cox states that Betelgeuse is, by all appearances, a ticking time bomb since it could go off without warning. To clarify the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided a legendary amount of evidence to support this explanation. But what unusual signs has Betelgeuse shown that have caused such great concern in astronomy? With the new data about Betelgeuse, the star has been classified as a supernova candidate. However, despite this classification, researchers are still uncertain when it will explode. The fact that Betelgeuse is twice the mass of the sun is one reason for this classification. A star, as experts say, must be several times the mass of the sun to be considered a supernova candidate. Things get even more fascinating because investigators have used various instruments, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to examine what is happening in space around Betelgeuse. What they found remains a mystery. The star was born on August 31st, a long time ago. Around that time, Betelgeuse exhibited odd clues that made its future uncertain. What did they find? Well, they detected peculiar light waves coming from the star. This is incredibly curious. However, it wasn't the only thing that specialists observed from the star. This brings us back to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness fluctuates. It was said that Betelgeuse dimmed at regular intervals and had dark spots, much like our sun today. However, the circumstances are different. 
It now changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another indicator of instability. An astounding discovery was made in February 2021. Experts found that the star's dimming cycle had reached a pattern of 1.61. This occurred shortly after the tremendous dimming event of 2019. That event, now known as the Great Dimming, led many to worry that Betelgeuse was about to explode. Between 2019 and 2020, the dimming range was recorded at 1.2, with the lowest level of brightness ever observed in 2019. Experts were certain that Betelgeuse would go supernova within the next 100,000 years. Given this extraordinary dimming, something remarkable is happening in the universe. However, analysts quickly changed their perspectives when they observed what happened next. Betelgeuse became brighter again after the dramatic dimming, transforming into something even more radiant. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics stated that the star is now 150% brighter than usual, making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Experts were shocked when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. This has led to different theories about what caused the incredible dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse signifies that it is a red supergiant star, which is the final stage of a star's life. The red glow is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the sun's outer layer at 5,500 Kelvin. Because Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area. However, due to its massive size, it will eventually explode. Brian Cox asks, does this truly mean that Betelgeuse will go supernova? The fact that Betelgeuse is already a red supergiant indicates that it is near the end of its life. A dying star frequently weakens over time, something experts understand. However, Betelgeuse's recent extraordinary behavior has prompted scientists to investigate further. Numerous telescopes are now focused on the great dimming event. Still, things get even more intriguing because scientists don't have a complete understanding of Betelgeuse. Researchers are now using the most advanced instruments to monitor the captivating events surrounding the star. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tools used so far. Since 2021, this telescope has been in space, helping experts gather a vast amount of crucial data on Betelgeuse. The latest images of Betelgeuse's remarkable dimming taken by this telescope show that the event caused a massive mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass ejection was over 10 times larger than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also observe wavelength. Stay wary about foreseeing a looming impact. In spite of the star's astounding way of behaving, including the confusing dimming and lighting up cycles, there's no assurance of when Betelgeuse will finally reach the end of its life. Some theorize that it could still take a colossal number of years before the star detonates. However, others believe it could happen much sooner, maybe within the next few years or even months. The rare data gathered by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's eccentric behavior, have kept scientists restless. They are cautiously monitoring its activity, using every tool at their disposal to detect any subtle changes that could indicate a supernova is imminent. When Betelgeuse does finally explode, it will send shock waves through the universe releasing an enormous amount of energy. The blast will momentarily outshine the entire universe, appearing as bright as the full moon from Earth. While this event will be a brilliant cosmic display, it won't pose an immediate threat to Earth, as the star is located more than 600 light years away. However, the supernova will present a crucial opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life and the phenomena associated with such a violent event. Betelgeuse's impending fate isn't just a matter of scientific interest. It serves as a reminder of the vastness and strangeness of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a crucial role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the cosmos with the elements necessary for new stars, planets, and possibly life itself. The death of such a star isn't an end, but rather a transformation, as it releases heavy elements that will eventually seed new celestial systems. Meanwhile, 
researchers continue to observe Betelgeuse and its behavior, unraveling the mystery of its future with each new discovery. The enigma grows, and our understanding of the universe expands. Perhaps soon, we will witness one of the most extraordinary events in the cosmos. Betelgeuse's transformation from a massive red supergiant into a breathtaking supernova. Until then, the night sky remains a canvas of wonder, with Betelgeuse shining brightly, a symbol of the fleeting nature of life in the universe. As we continue monitoring Betelgeuse, the mystery surrounding its fate deepens. Astronomers are particularly focused on how this star is approaching the final phase of its life cycle and its unpredictable behavior. The fact that something is causing it to act so strangely has sparked intense interest. It's important to remember that not all stars end in supernovae. For example, smaller stars like our Sun will conclude their lives much more quietly, shedding their outer layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. However, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant, meaning that when it dies, it will go out with a spectacular bang, completely different from the gradual fading of smaller stars. The sheer size of Betelgeuse makes it a fascinating subject for study. With a diameter many times larger than the Sun, if it were placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. This gives a sense of just how enormous it is compared to the Sun, which is already a giant by most stellar standards. Due to its immense size, Betelgeuse has burned through an enormous amount of fuel throughout its lifetime. As it nears the end, its core is rapidly collapsing under the force of gravity. This core collapse is what eventually triggers the violent explosion of a supernova. The process leading up to Betelgeuse's explosion is complex. As it approaches supernova status, the star's core contracts and heats up while its outer layers expand and cool. This creates an unstable environment with periodic fluctuations in brightness. These brightness changes, like the dimming event observed in 2019, are signs that the star is undergoing rapid transformations. This dimming may be linked to a massive outflow of material from the star's surface, temporarily obscuring its light. Despite these fluctuations, Betelgeuse continues to emit light, albeit inconsistently, making it a compelling object for study. The possibility that Betelgeuse might soon become a nearby supernova has drawn the attention of space agencies and researchers worldwide. With modern instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists are gathering an abundance of data on the star. These telescopes allow us to observe Betelgeuse in wavelengths previously out of reach, such as infrared and ultraviolet light, providing insights into the star's internal processes. Additionally, researchers are using advanced models to simulate the behavior of massive stars like Betelgeuse. These models help predict the star's future activity and estimate the timeline for when it will explode. While the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain, current data suggests that it could happen sooner rather than later. Some predictions suggest the explosion could occur within the next few years, while others estimate it could take a few thousand years. Regardless of the timeline, Betelgeuse's impending death will undoubtedly be a landmark event in the study of stellar evolution. Even though Betelgeuse's explosion won't pose an immediate threat to Earth, it will still provide researchers with a valuable opportunity to study the final moments of a massive star's life. By witnessing this event, astronomers will gain deeper insight into how massive stars die and what happens when they go supernova. The remnants of the explosion will enrich the interstellar medium with new elements and materials, contributing to the formation of future stars and planets. In conclusion, Betelgeuse isn't just a star fading away. It's a cosmic clock ticking down to a spectacular event. As scientists continue to observe this giant of the night sky, we are reminded of the wonders of the universe and the delicate balance that governs the lives of stars. Whether it happens today, tomorrow, or thousands of years from now, when Betelgeuse finally reaches the end of its life, it will leave a legacy that will shape the cosmos for billions of years to come. It's fascinating to think about how Betelgeuse's eventual supernova will impact our understanding of the cosmos. When the explosion happens, 
It will be one of the most significant astronomical events in modern history. Scientists will have an unprecedented opportunity to study a nearby supernova in real time. Using advanced telescopes and instruments that weren't available for previous supernovae observed from Earth. One of the key questions astronomers are trying to answer is, what will happen after Betelgeuse explodes? The aftermath of the explosion. Once Betelgeuse undergoes a supernova, it will leave behind a remnant that could take one of two forms, a neutron star or a black hole. One, neutron star possibility. If the core of Betelgeuse remains above a certain mass threshold, about 1.4 times the mass of the sun, but below three times the sun's mass, it will collapse into a neutron star. This would be an incredibly dense and compact object, just a few kilometers in diameter, but containing nearly the same mass as our sun. A neutron star left behind by Betelgeuse would emit strong magnetic fields and could become a pulsar, a rapidly spinning neutron star that emits beams of radiation detectable from Earth. If this happens, it could provide astronomers with a new, nearby pulsar to study, offering deeper insights into these exotic stellar remnants. 2. Black Hole Possibility If the remaining core of Betelgeuse is massive enough, exceeding about three times the mass of the Sun, it could collapse entirely into a black hole. This would be a spectacular event, as black holes are among the most mysterious and extreme objects in the universe. If a black hole forms, it could generate an intense burst of X-rays and gamma rays, which would be detectable by space observatories. However, due to Betelgeuse's distance from Earth, this black hole wouldn't pose any threat to us. Instead, it would become a valuable research target, helping scientists refine their understanding of stellar mass black holes. The impact on our night sky. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky. For weeks, or even months, it could shine as brightly as a full moon, casting shadows at night. After the initial explosion, the star's brightness will gradually fade as the ejected material disperses into space. Over the next thousands or millions of years, the remnants of the explosion will form a supernova remnant a vast cloud of gas and dust enriched with heavy elements. These elements, including carbon, oxygen, and iron, will spread into space, eventually contributing to the formation of new stars and planetary systems. In a way, the death of Betelgeuse will set the stage for the birth of future celestial bodies. Observing Betelgeuse in the coming years, given its unpredictability, Astronomers are keeping a close eye on Betelgeuse with some of the most advanced telescopes available, including the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, monitoring the star in infrared light to detect changes in its temperature and surface activity. Hubble Space Telescope, observing ultraviolet light emissions to study the outer layers of the star. Ground-based observatories using optical and radio telescopes to track brightness variations and potential shockwaves signaling an impending explosion. With every new observation, astronomers gather more clues about Betelgeuse's fate, but the exact timeline remains unknown. It could explode tomorrow, or it could still take thousands of years. Regardless of when it happens, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime event that reshapes our understanding of stellar evolution. A cosmic legacy the eventual supernova of Betelgeuse will be more than just a spectacular celestial event. It will be a reminder of the universe's dynamic and ever-changing nature. It will reinforce the idea that stars, like all things, have life cycles. From the heavy elements it will release to the potential formation of a neutron star or black hole, Betelgeuse's explosion will leave a lasting mark on the cosmos. Long after its light fades, its impact will continue shaping the formation of new stars and possibly even future planets, maybe even ones capable of supporting life. For now, we watch, we wait, and we wonder, knowing that, at any moment, the universe could give us one of its most extraordinary fireworks displays.